Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. New manager of European Giants wants Arsenal star as his first summer signing. Arsenal defender Jakub Kivier is the first player that the soon-to-be Juventus manager Thiago Mota plans to recruit for the Serie A team. Juventus are interested in signing Kivior, according to a report from the Italian publication Tutto Mercato Web. The Serie A giants are eager to add a centre-back during the summer transfer window, and they have their sights set on the versatile Arsenal defender. After moving from Spezia to the Gunners in January 2023, the Poland international has made 38 appearances across all competitions. According to Tutto Mercato Web, Motta has specifically asked Juventus to sign Kivior, a player he managed for one season at Spezia. Also, the Paul's natural position is in the central area of the defense. He has started the majority of his games for the Gunners as a left back at Spezia. The situation was similar. He was signed by the Italian team in August 2021, and for the majority of the matches, Motta used him as a holding midfielder. As Arsenal came extremely close to winning the Premier League in the second part of the season, Kivier was one of their most vital players. They are gradually turning him into an essential part of the team, so it will be difficult for the Gunners to let the player leave the club. The defender made 20 appearances for Arsenal in the Premier League last season, and he was one of the first names on the team sheet at the start of the year. His presence was reliable in the left side of the defense, and he provided the Gunners defensive stability compared to the more attacking option of Zinchenko in that position. The Gunners should keep the player at the club and resist offers from the Serie A giants for a summer move. He provides Mikel Arteta with depth, and his versatility is a huge asset for the North London club. Arsenal will listen to offers for a 27-year-old ace with 16 goal contributions. Although the focus is likely to remain on incoming players, the club have to be attentive to those players that wish to move on or the club prefer to sell. One of those, according to The Athletic, is a Brazilian forward Gabriel Jesus. During 23-24, The striker managed a reasonable 8 goals and 8 assists, according to who scored. However, his season was once again peppered with injury concerns. Despite being just 27 years of age, and arguably in that period, which is defined as a player's peak years, the persistent threat of further injuries is clearly behind Arsenal's decision to accept offers for Gabriel Jesus' services. It's believed that the player himself would prefer to stay at the Emirates Stadium, though Arsenal's pursuit of Sesco in particular means that Jesus will understand that if he does remain at the North London outfit, that he can't consider himself as the first choice striker any longer. At present, it isn't clear just how much the Gunners will want for his services, though he will surely be priced to sell. Real Madrid star has surprised a transfer offer from Arsenal, despite Gunners finalizing another deal. Arsenal may reportedly be interested in the transfer of Real Madrid goalkeeper André Lonin this summer, despite only just bringing in David Raya a year ago. Lonin is not guaranteed playing time at the Bernabeu despite his fine form last season, and he is now being linked with a move away from Real Madrid with a report from Cup mentioning Arsenal being one of the teams to have made him an offer. This is the supply journalist Fabrizio Romano, also reporting today with a post on his official account on X that the Gunners are finalizing the documents to make Raya's loan move from Brantford into a permanent transfer. If Raya is staying, it seems highly surprising that Arsenal could also be contemplating signing Lunin, unless Mikel Arteta really intends on shaking things up in goal for a second summer in a row. Raya's arrival last summer was a bit of a surprise as Aaron Ramsdale had been performing well as the club's number one. There is no doubt now that the Spanish shot stopper looks like an upgrade. 
Lunen seems unlikely to be content to leave Real Madrid's bench just to then also warn the bench at Arsenal, so we'll have to see how much truth there really is to this story, which will likely become clearer in the coming days. There will surely be other clubs out there impressed by Lunin's performances when he filled in for the injured Thibaut Courtois last season, but Arsenal will surely not be looking to sign another player who, like Ramsdale, wants to be playing regular first-team football. Arsenal have issues in attack and possibly in midfield, so one imagines those will be the areas we see them prioritize this summer. Though, a new backup keeper on the cheap might make sense if Ramsdale ends up leaving, which is surely likely. Arsenal switch focused to 25 goal contributions winger after Benjamin Sesko's decision. According to the standard, despite their interest in Bologna striker Joshua Zergzi, the Gunners might choose to sign a new winger instead of a forward. The report mentions Nico Williams of Athletic Club as the winger that the North London club could target in the transfer window this summer. The 21-year-old has attracted the interest of some of the biggest clubs in the world, and signing him will not be easy for Arsenal. The winger has a £43 million release clause, but a move would not be cheap given his pay demands, which have been said to be high. However, Williams' current team appears to be getting ready to sell him since they have agreed to a deal for Braga's Alvaro Diallo as a likely replacement. Along with signing a new striker, the Gunners are eyeing a move for a wide player who can provide competition and support to Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli, and Leandro Trossard. Williams can be the right player for the position of the wide player, as his pace and creativity can be a huge asset to the Gunners. Arteta wants to address the issue of depth in the Arsenal squad if he wants to end the dominance of Manchester City in the Premier League. He can start his summer business in the perfect manner if he can manage to bring the La Liga player to the Emirates Stadium. Williams, who is now with Spain for Euro 2024, played 37 games for Athletic Club in 23-24 and finished with 8 goals and 17 assists. Arsenal makes a U-turn about their interest in Serie A star. Arsenal was anticipated to shift their focus to road signing Joshua Zergzi after Benjamin Sesko opted to extend his stay at RB Leipzig. The Gunners have been actively seeking a new striker this summer, with Sesko quickly emerging as their preferred choice. Despite Sesko's strong finish to last season, Arsenal's plans have been disrupted by his decision to remain with RB Leipzig. With Sesko out of contention, Zergzi became an apparent alternative, and Arsenal had been linked with the Dutchman for some time. However, a report in The Athletic suggests that Arsenal will not be prioritizing Zergzi as initially expected. According to the report, the Gunners do not rate Zergzi as highly as previously suggested, and they are not pursuing his signing with serious intent. Zergzi is an exciting attacker to watch, but he is not prolific and he would not solve the problem we have up front. We have other targets that we can sign to improve our goal's return, so we need to be patient and get the right man, because we have a number of attackers who are not scoring so many goals. It does not make sense to add Zergzi to our group. Aston Villa will force Arsenal to pay as much as £50 million for Louise. Arsenal remains keen on signing Douglas Luiz as Aston Villa appears open to selling him this summer. Two summers ago, Villa rejected at least two bids from the Gunners for Luiz, deeming them insufficient. Since then, Luiz has stayed with Villa and played a key role in helping Unai Emery's team qualify for the Champions League. Despite that achievement, Villa seems willing to consider his departure with multiple reports suggesting he could leave this summer. Mikel Arteta remains interested in working with the Brazilian midfielder, but Arsenal faces competition from Juventus, who are also eager to sign him. As more clubs vie for his signature, Villa has set a substantial valuation for Luiz. 
According to a report on Football Insider, they aim to sell him for £50 million. The midfielder has gained more experience since Arsenal's initial interest two seasons ago, meaning the Gunners will likely have to pay a higher fee to secure his services. £50 million is not such a big fee for Louise, considering how inflated the transfer market is now, and we expect the villains to earn close to that fee when he finally leaves. If he is a key target for us, and we are sure he will be a starter, then we have to work to sign him. Arsenal could sign £50.5 million this summer, but face one big challenge. Thomas Partey could leave Arsenal this summer, but the beauty of having Declan Rice in the side is that Mikel Arteta has the option to target a number of midfielders and make it work alongside the versatile Englishman. And it seems that Arsenal remain admirers of Martin Zubimande heading into this window. Zubimande has previously rejected the chance to join Arsenal with Real Sociedad at the time, battling for a place in the Champions League and La Liga. Sociedad finished 6th this past season, so they may perhaps view this as a better time to make their move. There had been claims that Arsenal had cooled their interest in the £50 million rated Zubimande, but speaking to Cout Offside, journalist Ben Jacobs suggested that the door seems to remain open. He said, Martin Zubimande is still a realistic possibility, though the challenge there is persuading him to leave Real Sociedad. He is very happy there and that's why he stayed at the club in January, though that was also with the Champions League football to look forward to in the second half of the season. And now, it would be all about persuading the player to leave a club that he is really settled at. It would be a boost if Arsenal could manage to convince Zubimande to move to the Emirates in this window, with the Spaniard approaching his peak, as so many within the Arsenal squad are. The Gunners have been dealt an early blow in this window, with the news that Benjamin Sesko has renewed his deal with Leipzig. Arsenal will have a number of key targets in mind, so will have other names on their list to turn to. However, Arteta's men have elevated themselves into a position where only a handful of names could significantly improve them. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.